Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. As soon as the mind feels like it's going to slip away, remind yourself so you can stay with the breath and get back with the breath. It's by staying with the breath continually that you begin to see things that you didn't see before. All too often when something comes up in the mind, we jump away. And so we don't see what's actually going on. But if you stick with the breath continually, the things that tend to fall into the cracks suddenly become clear. The things that were hiding in the shadows become clear. It's like playing connect the dots. You have lots of dots on a page, and you can connect them with lots of different lines, and you can make all kinds of pictures out of them. But the question is, what is that? What did the dots originally come from? You don't know. You're just making up the connections by drawing the lines. But if you're staying with the, the breath, it's like having all the lines already connected so you see what kind of picture the dots really do represent. There was a novice in Tyler one time. He would put three or four dots on a page, and he would connect them with a line. He could paint any picture, which shows that this is what the mind is. The mind is just that way, and it shows how much imagination does, or how much your thoughts of, well, it might have been this way or it must have been that way, how that creates a picture out of just a very little evidence. So what you want as you're meditating is more evidence more continual evidence. So you've got to stick with the breath all the way in, all the way out, all the way through the spots in between the breaths. Try not to waver. And it's by being unwavering in your attention that you begin to uncover things in the mind. You can see that when the mind is ready to go out after its greed or its aversion or its delusion, you begin to see why, what sparked that emotion and which parts of the mind were willing to go along with it. This way you strengthen the parts of the mind that don't go along. You begin to see through these things, and they have a lot less power over the mind. So think of this principle of continuity, staying with the breath all the way in, all the way out, without wavering, without gaps. And you find that it opens up a lot of things in the mind. 